Hello and welcome everyone. This is your guide, Ryan Phoenix. Continue climb back aboard the bus for the tour of Soul Blazer. That's right, we are ready to continue with the tour. And if you remember from the last time here, we were pretty well done with this area. Let's get one really big thing to take care of. The boss. Yep, yeah, right up here. Are you ready for the boss? Well, I'm not. <laughs> we actually have a couple things that we can do before we get to the boss there. I actually forgot to do this shame on me. I know, I know. What kind of tour guide am I? But if we go over here real quick and take care of this guy, no problem. You might remember from a previous episode that we actually unlocked this little area in a dream sequence. And we didn't find anything when we came here. Well, there actually is something here. If we walk up to the very top of this area, we'll find Master's Emblem F. Huzzah! <laughs> yeah, pretty important there. Shame on me for forgetting that. <laughs> And you would think that we'd be ready for to go to the boss now, but actually we gotta go back to the town because we forgot something there too. Yeah, yeah, I know. Being pretty forgetful now. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and go down. And let me show you something here. If we walk over here, we can see that snail right there, right there where the magic circle was. And if we walk clear around here, all the way around. Yeah, there's no entrance in there. Huh. Uh, well, like, last time that we had a place with no entrance there, like, that mushroom there, he's all sealed off, but that uh, one grandma teleported us in there. So how do we get in here? Do we have somebody teleport us in there? Or what do we do? Whoa! <laughs> we just take the secret passage. Hooray! <laughs> uh, it'd be nice if they gave us some sort of hint here, like a little hole right here. That would've been nice. But anyway, let's just go ahead and talk to this now, shall we? How do we get in? Magic. <laughs> well, not this time, actually. Uh, what will he give us? Master's Emblem E. Huzzah! Now let's go ahead and go into our menu here and take a look. Now we have the Emblem F, E, D, and C. A uh, bit out of order here, but uh, no need to worry, we're actually pretty good. We actually have all of them that we need now that we got those two. <laughs> My bad for leaving those out before. And now that we're in the menu, item menu, we'll just go ahead and put a power bracelet back on because it is indeed time to take on the boss. That's right. Let's make our way back into the dungeon and down this path to the boss. Are you getting pumped, viewers? Are you getting psyched? Are you getting ready? Because it's boss time. Let's go. And start things off here. We're actually going to leave him be. I don't like to deal with him when he's in that center area right there. So I just like to wait until he gets on the sides here. And try to stay off to the side. Watch where his spear is going to be because he launches that little attack from that little triangle attack from his spear. So you want to be on the opposite side of that or back off if you can. And just let that get by and. Avoid these attacks there, and all you have to do is take your time, and this boss isn't really anything to be worried about. Alright, he's got it on the other side there, so we're good to get in there. Get a few shots, and ah, dang it. <laughs> I telegraphed that one a little bit there, went in too soon. <laughs> but yeah, alright. Wait him out in the middle. Ah, yeah, went in too soon again. I gotta pay attention to that, it will track you a little bit, and I almost got hit by those there. There we go. Alright. Duck into these cubby holes when you can there to avoid that last fireball shot. And like I said, there's not really a whole lot to deal with here. Just gotta bide your time. I could go in and do be a little bit more reckless, but eh, well, there's no no need for that. No need for that, right, viewers? Right. Just make things look pretty easy here. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll use a medical herb there. That'd be a little bit embarrassing. Duck down. There we go. And back over here. Like I say, he's got a really predictable pattern, so it's really nothing to worry about. Get in there, get a few shots in, run away. <laughs> oh, he's getting pretty close to dead. If I don't get him on this next round, I'll probably go after him in the middle. Just to finish him up. Back down, and get... Oh, okay, he came over to me. That was nice of him. Wait for that. In there. Oh. It's not really close enough for me to get him in this one round, so I am going to hold off. <laughs> yeah, contradicting, contradicting myself there a bit, but oh well. There's a good reason for it. Ah, wasn't sure which way that was going to go. Alright, we're pretty close. There we go. Be able to 
take him down without using that medical herb. We shall see. That's that up there. <laughs> so close there, but I'm not going to use that medical herb. We got him. We got him. Oh, so close. Oh, so close. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, get a sword ready. Because we are gonna charge in there and take him down! Huzzah! Uh, I made that look a good bit harder than I thought that I was gonna make it. <laughs> but we did have that mechal herb on standby there if we ever needed it there. Yeah, mechal herb, there it is. <laughs> so, yeah, wasn't too worried about it there. I could have done better. <laughs> so, yeah. Not the best, but you know, I try. <laughs> but now that we have defeated the boss, we release the king! Oh wow, the king gets all the room here. Uh, it looks pretty okay to me there. <laughs> yep, yeah, get our HP filled up, and there's nothing else here. So let's go ahead and make our way back to the town here and talk to his majesty, the king. Hopefully he'll give us a stone for this area and we can be on our way. Start a whole new area in this returning episode. That'd be nice. Nice way to come back. Alright, go down here. And, uh, nice little place you got here, Mr. King. Right. Click. Master's three symbols. I will call the Phoenix. Huh, okay. The Ryan Phoenix? No, I don't think so. <laughs> but we'll have to keep this in mind here. Keep in mind for later. Yeah, okay. Gotta say the same thing there. Alright. Yeah, let's talk to the king now. Indeed I did. And you're welcome. Ah, oh, poor gnome. Well, sh shame on you. Why won't you trust good old gnome? No, oh, <laughs> that seems like an odd reaction there, but you know. Okay, well, apparently we gotta go see Gnome. Guess I have heard of Ryan Phoenix. He's a pretty awesome guy. <laughs> okay, the Master's three symbols. The Red Hot Mirror, the Red Hot Ball, and the Red Hot Stick. Yeah, I gotta leave that one alone. <laughs> Shall I have the Phoenix help them? Alright, awesome. Phoenixes are pretty awesome there. Not that I'm biased or anything. Okay, well, do we bring the magician, magician, or you? <laughs> but yes, like, like I said before, we gotta keep that in mind. If we if we should happen to come across these items there, it seems pretty doubtful, you know. It doesn't seem like they would tell us about these items there and actually expect us to find them or anything. Okay, but now let's go ahead and head to the prison. Huzzah! <laughs> and talk to Noom. Ah, oh, hooray, everybody's free from jail. Well, let's go talk to the boy here first. Mechanical monsters and a house to the to the southeast, huh? Hmm, okay. Seems pretty odd there. Uh, do you say anything different here? Okay, yeah. Well, thank you. Thanks for the introduction. Hi, Gnome. Oh, you used to live with Dr. Leo. Shocking. <laughs> oh, wow, that doesn't sound very smart there, King Magrid there. Okay, so I gave the four stones to the four of them. I assume the four friends of Lisa that we were, well, were talked about earlier in the game. And the stones are keys to the world of evil. The stones are in Dr. Leo's laboratory and in the castle. Okay. And here we get the silver stone. Huzzah. And now we head to the laboratory. Uh, do you have anything new to say to us after this, Lisa? Yeah. Oh, I wonder how she is doing. May want to stop by and see her sometime. But for now, let's make our way back up to the save point and see if the master will allow us to move on with the game here. Now, go ahead and go up here. And how can you help us? We can help us by moving. 
moving on. Moving on up, or moving on southeast into the desert here. Yep, just the house that the one boy was talking about. Uh, sorry about that interruption there, but now we are ready to go on to Leo's laboratory here in the desert. So, let's go inside, shall we? Yeah, just let ourselves right in there. No need to knock or anything, or... Well, <laughs> wow, this place looks pretty beat up here. Huh. All right, well, let's just go through the go through the door here. Uh, okay, let me press. Am I really talking to a door now? <laughs> uh, I don't know why I should be surprised there. Like you know, we'll talk to tulips and vines, or well, no, we didn't talk to the vines. There, we were. <laughs> We were prejudiced against vines, we didn't talk to them there, but we talked to the tulips there, and the goats, and the deer, and the dogs, and why shouldn't we talk to doors? That'd be discriminatory to not talk to the doors, too. <laughs> oh, but this one tells us about the Zantetsu sword there that can defeat the metal monsters. Definitely something that we're going to have to be on the lookout for. <laughs> Because, like the one kid warned us about in the last town, we are definitely going to have to deal with some metal monsters in here. <laughs> so, yep, we have to find a certain door to get into the room there. And, uh, well, we can get into this room. And there's not really much exploring that we can do with all these holes in the floors. Prevent us from moving anywhere. So, let's go ahead and go down these stairs. And get into battle mode. Alright. Uh, not wasting any time here, getting into the action. <laughs> and, huh, got some worms here, and no, apparently they are not part of the metal monsters that we're going to have to deal with, so that'll uh, get off pretty easy to start things off with. And we get a branching path here, so let's go over to the right first here. And yeah, looks like we got some sort of vacuum cleaning monsters there or something. Looks like they're carrying mobs around. And if you, you want to keep your distance there, because they'll spray at you. <laughs> I guess more. Uh, apparently those worms can jump from side to side there, so gotta be on the lookout for that. Yeah, not falling for it, wormy. Uh, Alright, got rid of it. Hooray. Ah, dang. <laughs> and these are all part of the mental monsters that we have to worry about here. So I'm just gonna try to avoid them as best as I can. <laughs> because we can't really do anything about them right now. Right, open up this one. At least a great door. <laughs> Not just a regular door, but a great door. <laughs> yeah, now we can get into that other room there, back in the lab. So that's very nice. Uh, I don't think that there's anything else down this way. I just inch my way down and I'm running away from that guy. <laughs> Those are probably the biggest pains to deal with right now. Because as you can see, they'll fly around and they'll chase after you if you don't get out of the screen fast enough. I'm gonna try to lure this this guy away a little bit because right over there that's another uh, spawn point for those flying metal monsters. So yeah, I don't want to deal with those if I can help it. I get a little beat up there, but we gotta level up. Huzzah! Take care of you. Uh, should be like one or two more of these guys. All right, there we go. And we'll release here. We released a kitty cat. Yeah, not gonna be surprised about talking to a cat there. I mean, you know, we talked to dogs earlier, so, you know, why shouldn't we talk to cats? I'm gonna be surprised if we don't talk to the cats there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be upset if we can't talk to that cat now. <laughs> I got more of the vacuum cleaner enemies here, and uh, apparently they're just gonna keep on spawning here, so. Okay, looks like they're done spawning, so let's try to take them out fast, because you, know, you never know what's around the corner there. It's, here, let's see if I can. Yeah, those are also metal monsters. And they'll attack like the ropes from the Legend of Zelda series. Or uh, if you're in a straight path with them, then they'll leap back you in there. So they're not very friendly. Ah, dang it. <laughs> Wasn't thinking about him turning around on me there. Shame on me. Okay, I got some more sweeper monsters here. Let's go ahead and lure them out. Dang it. Stretch sword attack isn't really doing a whole lot of good against them. Something to keep in mind. Okay, another brief interruption. 
option there. <laughs> and we released a plant. Hooray! And I think that we're gonna head uh, back over this way. Ah, okay, we did only lock that one there. But I think that now we're gonna head back to the room, briefly. And then we're gonna call it an episode. <laughs> So I hope they enjoyed this episode today. If you did, give me a like or comment below. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one. Till next time, guys. Take care.